Well, you would think I should be taking it easy on my birthday. Apparently not. Wow. Um, got a pretty major war update for you. And, uh, th it's really down to just a matter of time. So let's just go ahead and jump right on over. As you see the first headline here, and you may have already heard this, the U.S. Senate passes $40 billion Ukraine bill. And uh, I'll just read the first little bit here. It says the U.S. Senate voted on Thursday to pass a $40 billion package of military and economic aid to Ukraine. The bill gifts Kiev nearly $20 billion in weapons, ammunition, and training and dramatically boosts the budget of the U.S. State Department. The bill passed by 86 votes to 11, and President Joe Biden is expected to sign it into law immediately. Of the 11 senators who opposed the bill, all were Republicans. And I'm not going to go into all the rest of the bill, okay, um, because you've already heard this. It's already uh, that, that, that dead horse that's been beaten. But uh, so I'm thinking that, to be real honest, it, it could very well be signed by the end of the day. I would not be surprised if I get an update before long here that the uh, bill has been signed because when it is something that they want, they have amazing bipartisan support and uh, and for some reason, if it's something they want, they can just make it happen on a dime, right? But uh, if it's something to help us, well, you know, the wheels of government, you know. Anyway... Also, and this is just as important, uh, this headline just recently came out, UK to offer up fresh weapons to Ukraine. Now, what I want to uh, talk about, I want to go ahead and read this one, because again, you've, you've already heard everything from, uh, from the US, I'm sure, or if not, you haven't been paying much attention. So, uh, what it says here is the UK will provide Ukraine with long-range artillery shore to ship missiles and unmanned drones downing street revealed on thursday following a phone conversation between british prime minister boris johnson and ukrainian president vladimir Zelensky. so i mean that is uh, some pretty serious equipment they're talking about there during the phone call on thursday the two leaders discussed a range of issues including military support to ukraine and the looming food crisis noting the recent announcement of an additional 1.3 billion pounds in uk military aid for ukraine the prime minister set out the support flowing to uh, ukraine's defense including long-range artillery shorter ship missiles and unmanned drones drones the prime minister's office said in a statement uh, johnson and Zelensky agreed to step up work with allies including the u.s france and germany to define the longer-term security architecture for Ukraine. Well, ain't that a way of uh, whitewashing anything that could mean? I, it's a matter of time, folks. You know, how much longer before Russia just says, you know what? I mean, there's just no two ways about it. This is a global conflict. There's just only a matter of time. And they have to get all this equipment into Ukraine. And what's to say Russia isn't going to try to prevent that? So, you know, it's pretty much a, a smorgasbord of possibilities setting in front of us. Just keep your heads on a swivel and uh, keep, keep getting ready. Because like I've been saying on the broadcast, the live broadcast, it's not letting up. I mean, it's, it's you know, all these nations, every last one of them are just pushing forward. And nobody is showing any any even little bit of uh, of backing off. So just keep getting ready. Shalom.